Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's promo. And today we will be talking about a very, very important topic today. This is something that is a feature, a setting that's built on your Android phone. And I don't believe many people have even accessed this, looked at it or set it up. And it could be something that is dealing between life and death matters. And I'm not really making that up at all. You will see that here in just a second of exactly what I'm talking about. There is a setting or feature that I don't think many people even know. And so that means that there is not many of these Android phones that is set up with this. But let's say that you run into a situation and you maybe collapse and people don't know your background. They don't know your emergency contacts. This could be either a stranger. It could also be somebody that's a part of the emergency services. But inside of your Samsung phone, if you go inside of your settings, you're going to go to safety and emergency. You can put in some of your medical information and emergency contacts and it's able to be accessed from your lock screen. So again, if any person now was to come up and help you, maybe a stranger was to find you collapsed. They don't know who to contact. They don't know who you are. They don't know if you are allergic to anything if there was some medications that would have to be done so this is where you can put it in and so it's just called safety and emergency on both of these phones now inside of the pixel you can see it looks a little bit different some of the categories is also slightly different as well uh, you just want to go inside of edit this is where you put in your medical conditions allergies current medications and blood type now just to show you what it looks like really quick uh, you know because you might be wondering okay well where do you access this how do people see it things like that uh, you know you might be putting Putting in some of these details uh, but you know what's gonna happen after that so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in uh, let's say the wife for my emergency contact just for right now so what's gonna happen is once you go inside of your lock screen uh, maybe you know something has happened you have collapsed all anybody would have to do would be swiping up on your lock screen go to emergency call and then you can check out medical info and from here, you'd be able to check out the medical conditions, allergies, current medications, blood type, things like that. And then also the emergency contacts and it would show all the rest of them if I added more in. Now, I do want to show you a few more details about, you know, the emergency information, but I want to show you what it looks like here on the Z Fold 3, because this is the one that actually has my SIM card that is installed. That's why you weren't able to see any of these emergency contacts sitting right there on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So the S21 Ultra over here that I was just showing it doesn't have a sim card in there so that's why it wasn't showing up my contacts in this emergency call situation so again something has happened to you uh, people would be able to just hit on their lock screen here maybe they can unlock it with your face things like that but if you don't have that set up you go inside of emergency call here is some emergency contacts that they're able to call up and dial right away hey this person don't know if you know them they just passed out I'm calling from this phone number right here want to let you know uh, then here's the medical information it's gonna have all of the details sitting inside of here if I was to put in the rest of the details but I don't really have any medical conditions I don't have any uh, you know allergic reactions or any type of allergies things like that so that's what I'm gonna be putting in for the rest of these this uh, medical information on this phone here is gonna be set up where it's gonna say NA 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 or just none for all of those so moving back over into you know what you're able to do in all of the different categories we're gonna just kind of take a, sl a slightly deeper dive inside of this medical information and things like that so again to find it inside of your Samsung phone hit on settings you're gonna scroll down and this is where you're gonna go inside of uh, safety and emergency so here is your safety and emergency now there is other things here that you can turn on here's that send SOS messages so if something was to ha happen and you're about to catch it or maybe you know somebody's trying to rob you things like that then this is where you can turn this one on you can hit the power button three times it's gonna do a bunch of things take photos you know attach an audio recording let people know where you are uh, things like that I know a lot of police officers have used this before back when I was at my old job uh, and I was talking to a bunch of people some of them actually was able to use this to call in backup you also have wireless emergency alerts so you can you know turn on you can turn off some of these emergency alerts uh, you also have your emergency location service I would suggest keeping this on so this way if there is any type of emergency then at least you, they would know your your location uh, area earthquake alerts you can turn this one on turn it off I live in the Midwest so I can easily just turn that thing off emergency mode uh, this is another mode that you can get into if you know that something could be happening and you basically want to get inside of this emergency mode it's a very very big battery saver so if your battery is low things like that now this is where we already talked about the emergency contacts you'd be able to go through you can add people in if you need to delete anybody just hit on that pencil right there you can actually hit on the X to delete any of those folks uh, and then inside of the medical information 
And this is pretty much it for the Samsung phone. Again, all I would have to do is just say none, 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 and then I would just put in my blood type. Now, when it comes down over into the Pixel over here, this one is a little bit more in depth, a little bit more going on here. Uh, there's gonna be the emergency contacts uh, that we just got done talking about. So you can add in your contacts here. So this would show up inside of that dialer that you just saw on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Here's your emergency SOS. Uh, it's, it's managed by the personal safety. So you can get this one all set up. And again, it's gonna be dealing with the power button. You have a timer, things like that. Um, and then car crash detection. Uh, and then you also have crisis alerts here's your emergency location service so you can go through these take a look at them turn them on turn them off things like that uh, but here's that medical information again so this one has just a little bit more from before uh, but it's kind of you know set up differently so here's that blood type here is allergies medications you can put in the address uh, of where you live so this way if they need to you know uh, maybe take you home maybe you broke your foot things like that <laughs> or maybe uh, I guess you can speak at that moment maybe you're unconscious and they can take you home other than a hospital I don't know uh, everything is right here uh, address medical notes if you have any notes that you want to talk about uh, and then if you're an organ organ donor or not uh, medications so there's no you know little check mark check boxes things like that it's for you to actually type in um, but again, I think that it is very, very super helpful because again, let's say that I pick up the Z Fold 3, you know, something has happened to me, emergency personnel or a stranger, if they know this, and I'm pretty sure most of the emergency personnel should know this, uh, you go inside of emergency call. There is the contact information. Something has happened. Uh, and then here's medical information. It tells them everything that they need to know um, about me once I was to put in and save everything in there. So I think you can see how this is something that is very important to do. Maybe nothing will ever happen to you. And I also hope that nothing will ever happen to you. But if anything does, at least you have everything all set up for you. Uh, and then also too, maybe you don't need to set it up for yourself. Maybe you want to set it up for maybe your parents or grandparents, things like that. You'd be able to do that for them as long as they have an Android phone. If they have an iPhone, I have no idea. Don't own any Apple, uh, you know, fruit company products. So you can take a look at their settings, see if they have anything similar to this. Um, but because this is something that is, I think to me, something so important uh, because my son does have some allergies. Uh, and so there is some details and information I can put inside of there. He also rides his bike home from school, things like that. So if anything was to happen, uh, all the emergency stuff would be on his phone. So that is one thing that I will be putting in the, his device tonight. This was something I found today. I uh, played around with it laying on the couch and I wanted to share with you guys because again, super, very important. Could also save your life or your loved one's life. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. You guys understand kind of, you know, uh, everything about this. It's kind of self-explanatory once you go inside of it. So again, go inside of safety and emergency, put in some of these details. You don't have to turn on that send SOS message unless if you feel that, it, that you can uh, or you want to. It's kind of like that life alert type stuff, hitting a button. Same thing here. You can hit the power button three times, four times, whatever you may do. Uh, and then you also have some more settings inside of there. But if you guys appreciated this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also share it, send it on, you know, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Also, if you have not subscribed already, subscribe in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.